Welcome to the channel where medical topics are made easy. Today we're going to go over a few mnemonics and tricks to help you remember all the different cranial nerves, including their names and function. But this video is different from the other cranial nerve videos that are out there. Most of those videos give you a mnemonic, but they don't tell you how to remember the cranial nerves that start with the same letter, which makes the mnemonic tough to use. So in this video, you're also going to learn tricks to remember the cranial nerves that start with the same letter, so make sure to watch until the end. Remember all the videos come with notes and study guides, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out. You can find the notes and study guide for this video linked below. So turn on the captions down below and read along, and let's get right into it. First we're going to go over a simple mnemonic to remember the cranial nerve names. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves, and they include the olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. The mnemonic I like to use to remember the cranial nerve names is only one of the two athletes felt very good, victorious, and healthy. It's an original mnemonic that I came up with and it works for me, but there are a lot of different mnemonics out there to help you remember them, so choose the one that works best for you. Many of the mnemonics out there I think are fragmented or random words, so they don't work for me as much. I prefer a simple sentence like this one. This will help you remember cranial nerve 1 is the olfactory, cranial nerve 2 is the optic, cranial nerve 3 is the oculomotor, cranial nerve 4 is the trochlear, cranial nerve 5 is the trigeminal, cranial nerve 6 is the abducens, cranial nerve 7 is the facial, cranial nerve 8 is the vestibulocochlear, cranial nerve 9 is the glossopharyngeal, cranial nerve 10 is the vagus, cranial nerve 11 is the accessory, and cranial nerve 12 is the hypoglossal. So write this mnemonic down and repeat it several times and you'll have it committed to memory. Now you can see some of the cranial nerves start with the same letter, so how do you know which one to use in the mnemonic? Well make sure to keep watching until the end because there are tricks to help you with this too. Let's move on to another mnemonic that will help you remember the function of the cranial nerves. And by the way, if you have any mnemonics that you like to use, share them down below in the comments for everyone. Cranial nerves are sensory, motor, or both. The sensory cranial nerves take sensory information from the body and send it to the brain, and the motor cranial nerves send information from the brain to the body for movement. And finally, some cranial nerves can have both sensory and motor components. The mnemonic I like to use is some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matter most. I didn't come up with this mnemonic, and it's a common one many people use, but I think it's one of the best ones out there. It's easy to remember, and it's a smooth sentence. Remember the words starting with S indicate sensory cranial nerves, and the words starting with M indicate motor cranial nerves, and the words starting with B indicate both motor and sensory. So cranial nerve 1 is sensory, cranial nerve 2 is sensory, cranial nerve 3 is motor, cranial nerve 4 is motor, cranial nerve 5 is both, cranial nerve 6 is motor, cranial nerve 7 is both, cranial nerve 8 is sensory, cranial nerve 9 is both, cranial nerve 10 is both, cranial nerve 11 is motor, and cranial nerve 12 is motor. Just like the first mnemonic, write this one down and repeat it several times to commit it to memory. And if you write down both mnemonics next to each other, you'll have the names and functions of the cranial nerves as you can see shown here. Now let's go over some tricks to remember the cranial nerves that start with the same letter. As you can see, most of the cranial nerves share a common first letter. The mnemonic to remember the names of the cranial nerves is great, but how do you know which cranial nerve to use when more than one cranial nerve starts with that letter? Well, I came up with some tricks to help you with this. Let's begin with the cranial nerves that start with the letter O. This includes the olfactory, optic, and oculomotor nerves, which are cranial nerves 1, 2, and 3. The olfactory nerve deals with the sense of smell, and we only have one nose. So you can remember the olfactory nerve is cranial nerve 1 because we have one nose. The optic nerve deals with the sense of vision, and we have two eyes. So you can remember the optic nerve is cranial nerve 2 because we have two eyes. The oculomotor nerve contains the word motor, and we know from the mnemonic that the only motor cranial nerve between cranial nerves 1, 2, and 3 is cranial nerve 3. So you can remember the oculomotor nerve is cranial nerve 3 because it contains the word motor, and it's the only motor nerve of those three. Cranial nerves 1 and 2 are sensory. Let's move on to the cranial nerves that start with the letter T. This includes the trochlear and trigeminal nerves, which are cranial nerves 4 and 5. For the trochlear nerve, 
Use the O in trochlear and the O in 4 to remember the trochlear nerve is cranial nerve 4. For the trigeminal nerve, use the I in trigeminal and the I in 5 to remember the trigeminal nerve is cranial nerve 5. Let's move on to the cranial nerves that start with the letter A. This includes the abducens and accessory nerves, which are cranial nerves 6 and 11. For abducens, I like to say abduce 6 to help me remember the abducens nerve is cranial nerve 6. And for the accessory nerve, you'll notice there's two pairs of letters in the word, and the number 11 contains a pair of ones. So this helps me remember the accessory nerve is cranial nerve 11. Finally, we have the cranial nerves that start with the letter V. This includes the vestibular, cochlear, and vagus nerves, which are cranial nerves 8 and 10. The vestibular cochlear nerve has to do with hearing and equilibrium. Ear and equilibrium both start with the letter E, and this will help you remember cranial nerve 8. The vagus nerve mainly innervates organs in the thorax and abdomen. Thorax and tummy both start with the letter T, and this will help you remember cranial nerve 10. Hopefully this gave you an easy way to remember the cranial nerves. If you found the video useful, please hit that like button and leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to not only catch future videos, but also all the videos come with notes and study guides that you don't want to miss out on. The notes and study guide for this video are linked below. Thanks for watching and hope you check out future videos.